I have the OnePlus 7 Pro here, and today I want to show you how to relock the bootloader of both the OnePlus 7 as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now there are a number of reasons why one may want to lock the bootloader after they have unlocked it. For instance, if you want to sell it to a friend, family member, or just online, some people will not accept a device that has an unlocked bootloader. So it's a good idea to lock the bootloader, to be able to lock the bootloader if you need to. Now I will recommend that you do not lock the bootloader if you have any modified software running on this device at all. This includes a custom ROM, a custom kernel, any type of modification that has been installed such as TWRP or mods that have been installed through TWRP. You should not be running anything except for 100% original Oxygen OS including the recovery, the firmware, everything before you lock the bootloader. So, before you do any type of locking of the bootloader again, I highly recommend that you follow either a tutorial titled Unbrick, a return to stock, or maybe a install original OnePlus images or OnePlus firmware. I will be doing both a Unbrick tutorial and a return to stock tutorial in the future. The goal here is to make sure everything is officially from OnePlus because, again, the whole reason why we unlock the bootloader is to allow software that has been created by people who are not OnePlus. Meaning, if you have software that is not officially from OnePlus and you lock the bootloader, it could hard brick your device because the device will not let that software run. Just a fair warning. So since you have likely already locked the or unlocked the bootloader, I'm going to skip a lot of the ADB and fastboot stuff here in the video, but if you want or need any extra help, look in the full tutorial, which I have linked in the video description, and in there I will show you how to do things like boot the device into fastboot mode, aka bootloader mode, and how to install ADB and fastboot tools. Because once we boot our device into fastboot mode, we are going to need to connect it to a USB cable, and then we are going to need to open up a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. So now that we are in fastboot mode, we got our cable connected, we're going to open up a command prompt, and let me show you that part. So again, if you are familiar with unlocking the bootloader, just like I've shown you in a previous tutorial, then this will be very familiar. It's only people who have purchased and unlocked OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro that they'll be unfamiliar with this. if they so choose to lock the bootloader, which is a perfectly fine decision. Again, you just want to make sure that the, you only have official software on your device. Once you have that done, open up the command prompt. We're going to be typing out the command fast boot, space flashing, space lock. Whereas before, this was unlock, to unlock the bootloader. Now, we are going to lock it. We're just going to press enter on the keyboard and that's going to change the screen on our OnePlus 7 Pro here. Now, as soon as we press enter on the keyboard, our screen on the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro is going to change this to, to this and it's just going to tell us that a little bit of warning that we are going to lock the bootloader, do not install any custom operating system on the phone, 
and we need to use the volume and power buttons to navigate this menu. So we're just going to press the volume down button until the lock the bootloader option is highlighted. And then we're going to press the power button to select that option. And just like before, where we do a factory reset once the device is being unlocked, we are also going to be doing a factory reset with the device being locked. Again, this is the same security measure that was put in place before. And once that factory reset is complete, then we are going to be going through our first boot cycle into the newly wiped operating system. And I will give you a warning, this boot cycle will take longer than normal because we have just erased everything we had on our phone. So you're just going to want to be patient during this boot cycle. Again, it will take longer than normal. That's normal. And you just want to give it enough time to boot back up you have to remember that not only does Android itself have to set some stuff back up, but also Oxygen OS from OnePlus has to set some things back up as well. And there we have it. That is how to lock or relock the bootloader of the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro.